do playing Dev Maker 4 Special Edition. This is mission 13 of my Nero and Dante, Dante Must Die Difficulty video guide. If the memes and the jokes in the last mission pissed you off, I am not sorry. I don't care. <laughs> I thought they were quite funny myself. Um, I'm kind of annoyed that we're back onto these forest missions because we have Chimera infected enemies. Now, I, before, before I said that I didn't like them because they forced the Wow, that actually hit me. Okay, great. What a great start to the mission. I should probably just restart, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, I said that the Chimera Infected enemies were ass because they just, like, they made you play overly defensive and they were random. But apparently, you can shoot off their flowers. I'm going to test that. The guys, I was speaking to one, and they said that they, like, shot them with a shotgun until the flowers blew up. And then they were just, like, regular enemies. Hey, his flower's different. Look at that. So does that mean... Oh. Ah, shit. It's been a couple of days since I played. You've got to bear with me. Plus, I want to just try and test this out. Yeah, look at that. His flower blows up. And that means I can just attack now. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, that changes everything then. That makes this a really good enemy. Because you have an out to it. I still don't like them. Because I feel like... I know, like... You shouldn't have to do something you don't really... I don't know. I guess it's fine. Like, I personally don't like the way they make you play, but it's good that they do make you adapt your play style. That's acceptable to me, so... I can, I can live with it, you know? And I think that's fine. So it actually makes them a good enemy, because it does, like, make them do what they were intended to do, which is change your play style, but you don't have to be stupid defensive. You just have to take a moment to blow up their flowers, and you can just lay into them. That's really cool. Okay, that makes them a good enemy. That is just a well-designed enemy, then. It's been a while since I played this mission, so you've got to bear with me. I need to remember exactly where to go. I've got a rough idea. I know that there's like a little bridge going under. It's not this way. Okay. I want to talk about um, multiplayer Devil May Cry, because a lot of people want multiplayer for Devil May Cry 5. And the way I see it, I say they should just add it in for the sake of it. You know, like there's no reason not to. Like, make it like a more difficult mode or whatever, and make it a lot of fun. But there's no need to not have it. Like, just make it not part of the main content of the game, so that uh, people can still play it the way Devil May Cry was originally intent. Man, that hitbox is so shit. So bad. Like, why can you not do that consistently? But, yeah, I say just add it. Just don't make it, like, part of the main content of the game, because that would just take away from what makes Devil May Cry... Well, from what, like, fans originally loved it for, which is one guy being a god taking on billions of demons... Right, this is not clean. I need to step up my act here. Saying that, I've not played against these guys that much. Oh, really? Fuck off. Okay, let's do something fancy. Does basic combo number one. <laughs> oh, I'm not in Pandora. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I've not played in a few days. You have to bear with me whilst I warm up. Yeah, not in practice. Doesn't help that I've only played like one mission so far in recent times as well. Can I do this? Damn, that doesn't work. Fuck. You can tell I play a lot of Dante. But where was I? Oh yeah, like just add it in for the sake of it. Like make it fun. Like they did it for Devil May Cry 3 with Doppelganger. And it's like people like that. Like I think it would be fine. That's not going to work. And I need to stop doing that until I've like... But then I can't not do it until I've learned. <laughs> Man, I might just have to look up some stuff myself. Because honestly, like, making a guide for a character I'm, like, objectively bad with probably isn't a great idea. But then again, like, it comes down to that thing of it helps me to show other people who aren't that great at the character to get past these levels, so I guess it's fine. But yeah, like, Carp and Devil May Cry would be cool. Like I said in a previous video, I would like Legendary Dark Knight mode, but with Dante Must Die difficulty enemies. I would love that for a co-op. Like, that would be so cool. And like, you know, you see shit like Don Guri and whatnot doing like these insane combos. But just imagine what they could do if there was like two Don Guris, you know. Like, um, oh, is it Kevin X or something? Or X Kevin? Like, those two guys together could make some sick shit happen. Like, it could be cool. Uh, for this fight, I recommend just running past it. Uh, so I'm going to tell a funny st Wait, did I already tell this part? I don't know if this pops up in the last mission. 
I can't remember. I'll tell it anyway. Basically, I never realized that you had to double back on yourself in this area. So I was wandering in circles for hours and I had to eventually, I dropped, I was a kid at the time. So I dropped my controller on the floor in frustration because I couldn't figure out where to go. And it accidentally sent Dante backwards to actually work out the puzzle for me. And that's when it finally clicked. <laughs> it was, I was pretty salty when I found out, but at the same time, I was quite happy. So I was able to proceed it's not too hard a mission it's just chimera infected are a bit tricky but with that shotgun trick like that actually just like that actually makes it so much easier like you can just blow off their flowers and you're fine now right we're on to echidna now with echidna when she roots herself in the ground you cannot do a distorted real impact that does not work you she, she doesn't have a hitbox for it it's too small so what we're going to use instead is we're going to use prop shredder and i want to see i've never actually tried it oh, I, <laughs> I want to try getting hit no, but um, we're going to try Prop Shredder and see how much damage that does. I think it's quite useful. And then we're going to just get out of there. So what we do is we are just going to use our... We're going to keep our distance. And we're going to use Pandora to build up our bar. Oh, I wasn't sword master, fuck. Man, I need to warm up again. But yeah, we're just going to keep our distance. We're going to go in. It's the same way with Nero, except we're just less effective at dealing that insane damage that Nero can. Which sucks, but... It's, what, it's what's got to happen, right? Like, Dante just doesn't have the same I'm going to destroy you right now power that Nero does. So we're going to have to adapt accordingly. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Go on the aggressive. Oh, I thought I could lock that. Get some bar off. But yeah, we just go alternate between attack and defense. We're just less effective at it than Nero is. This is the scrubs way of doing it. There are definitely better ways, but this is easy to execute. And I think that's important when it comes to making something like... <laughs> nice, I did it. I probably shouldn't be so proud because it's not that hard to do, but it feels good. You know when you're bad at something, but you do something like kind of okay, and it feels really fucking good? <laughs> it's that sort of thing. I wonder if you can royal guard that. Probably. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's kind of cool. Hang on. <laughs> I, didn't, I actually didn't know you could do that. Can I... Teleport. Nope, doesn't work. Fuck. Should I try and royal guard her charging at me? <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Oh my god, I am the best Dante player in the world. Oh, I didn't get it that time. That sucks. Hey, you little piece of shit cunt. Fuck you. Dickhead. <laughs> that was sick, though. I'm actually pleased with that. That was cool. Can I get the stun? No. Oh, man. I didn't know you could actually block the charge. That's really cool. I guarantee there's people out there that didn't know you could do that. I mean, I've heard people say you can block anything. But I had no idea how, like... Oh, you can't do that. Fuck. Just demonstration. Like, you do not get the hits off that. There's just no way. It doesn't happen. Did I get both or did I only get one of those? Fuck. I locked myself in. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard people say that you can, like, block everything. <laughs> Let's do it again. I know the commentary's not great, but fuck me, it's so much fun. Can I... Oh, I didn't do it. This is me trying to, like, style a little bit now. I am clearly that good. Fuck. Oh, I should do the other one. Right. Fuck. <laughs> that's funny all right so the way you do that it's not it's not good like there's definitely better things you can do but it's actually kind of funny is um you just alternate between um dark slayer and sword master and you just mash b while she do it <laughs> looks kind of cool and just prop shredder her basically you could just do anything like anything does work it's just a matter of what you choose to do oh oh Oh, she didn't do it at me. Fuck. I don't think I got the perfect guard. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought I had the 
frames. <laughs> Fuck. I'm just fucking around now. But I think that's fun to see. Like, it, I think that would be fun to watch. Like, someone just... <laughs> Hang on, let me just, um... <laughs> Charge at me, bitch. <laughs> oh, what? She didn't get the hitbox? Oh, no, I just... Uh, it doesn't ma matter if you don't hit something. Cool. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even kill her. What the fuck? Oh, no. Wait, what? Where did my health go? <laughs> <laughs> no way. You're having a fucking chuckle. Oh, no. All right, so... I could have totally beat that, but I was busy fucking around. Because I, I learned you could guard that, and I thought that was so cool. <laughs> All right. I will admit I am bad, but I didn't die because I'm bad. I died because I was having too much fun. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I never knew you could do that. I just, I tried it on a whim because like, I read somewhere that um, you could royal guard everything. No, I'm not getting hit by you. Fuck off. <laughs> and I, would, like, I wanted to see how far you could take that. Like, um, the Savior's massive ass beam, you can perfect guard the entirety of that. Like, there's a video of it. I won't link it or anything, but it's easy enough to find. But oh my god, that's... <laughs> I won't do it this time, though. I won't, like, do fancy shit this time because that's just fucking suicide, as we saw. But fuck me, that was brilliant. Well, I hope you guys found that as funny as I did. Fuck. I'm not fucking around with these guys. Actually, I'm not going to fuck around for this mission now, because I don't want to do more than two retakes. But, um, that's just because these guys do take a lot of health if you fuck up. Fuck, I didn't mean to teleport. I was locked on there, so I did a te teleport instead of a dash, which obviously doesn't have the same amount of iframes. And it didn't reposition me the way I wanted. So yeah, if you just shoot these guys with a shotgun... It blows off the flower, and then you can just beat into them. Man, that makes them such a good enemy. Like, I don't like them, but I can accept that they are good. Oh, I need to get rid of their fucking thing again. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking lock on, Dante. Thank you. So, yeah, this isn't fancy to watch or anything, but... I've already, like, died once because I was pissing around, so I'm not going to piss around again. Fuck you. Fuck you. There we go. So that's not fancy in the slightest, but again, the ki I, just, I don't like them, but they are a good enemy because they do adapt your playstyle without being unfair because there is an answer. So I take back everything I said about them. Well-designed enemy. Keep them in the game. I can wholesomely admit when I'm wrong. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't see him coming, so it was too late. Like, I saw him coming, like, literally right after I locked myself in. So it's like... And it was at this moment that Dante knew he fucked up. <laughs> oh, speaking of the memes, like, I was talking about dabbing in the last video. And what I should have done is I should have, like, um, gone the full nine yards. Like, if I'd realized I was going to do it, I should have voiced over, actually. I should have voiced over the start and just been, like, you know, introduced it. Like, hello there, guys. I'm a dude playing Dev May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is mission 12 of my Nero and Dante. Dante must dab difficulty. Video guide. <laughs> Oh, come on. Why doesn't that launch, man? That's so annoying. Fuck you. Oh, I actually have no health. Fuck. <laughs> this is going to be actually harder. If I die again, I'll just edit it out and, like, just show off the boss fight again. Because you don't know, still want to see this, like, three fucking times. <laughs> I can't believe I died because I was pissing around. I thought I had, like, half health. Fucked up one guard and just half my health gone. It's fucking brilliant. That's sad. That's actually sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> bitch. I like this level, actually. It's a cool level. Like, aside from the Chimera Infected, which, again, as we've just discussed, I don't like, but they are still a good enemy. Um, I like it conceptually, because it's like Bitch Tits is laughing her ass off somewhere, and the closer you get, the louder she laughs, and it kind of creates this, like, really? You weren't even on screen. Fuck you. I call horseshit on that. No, fuck off. I'm actually going to fucking piss yet here. <laughs> But it's really cool because it's like Bitch Tits is off laughing somewhere and it gives you the feeling that you're being watched. And that's just... Oh, I've got to double back on myself. And that's just really cool. Like, first time I played this when I was a kid, I found it quite creepy. 
And like a lot of people liked the original Devil May Cry more than this one for their creepy atmosphere. And I can understand that, you know, atmosphere is important in a game. And I thought that the forest actually did quite well in this particular mission. I don't like the next one though. The next one has faults. And when we get to the next mission, I'll deliberately get captured by a fault just to show you what they do. And then I'll let you make up your mind if they're a good enemy or not. Right, I don't have much else, so I'm going to not piss around. I'm just going to do what works. Because that is kind of what the guide's about anyway. So don't try and royal guard the dashes. Because if you fuck it up, you're dead, as we've learned. <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm gonna watch the recording anyway to make sure that there were no issues with it. But um, but I am going to like see exactly how much damage I actually took there. Because I'm interested. I'm, it was pr it's got to have been like half my health in one go, right? Oh shit. Damn it. Fuck off. Oh shit. Fuck you. So what I'm building up. What I'm doing here is I'm. Shit. Sorry, I gotta concentrate. What I'm doing here is I'm building up my Pandora gauge so I can deal safe damage. And that's only because I don't want to risk dying again and wasting more time. I actually hit her. Nice. Damn it, that doesn't auto-lock. Fuck off. Stop summoning those things, you little bitch. Urgh. Fuck it. I'm still fucking around even though I said I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to do what works this time because, you know, I don't want to die and do the video again and all that shit. But I'm still here fucking around. <laughs> oh, man. But I hope that makes it entertaining, the fact that I'm still fucking around despite. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Reminds me of Devil May Cry 3. Um, when you played as Virgil, like that move, uh, hang on. That move, that's a throwback to Virgil. Like, Virgil had that jumping attack in Devil May Cry 3. And, um... Ah, uh, those guys, these guys are annoying because they just, like, fall away. But, yeah, that's um, a Virgil's move. And in Devil May Cry 3, you could jump cancel that repeatedly and do, like, ten of them in a second or some shit. It was pretty great. No, lock onto that one, you... Fuck off. Damn it, I didn't get the guard off in time. I didn't have the frames for a trickster dash. So when she's doing this, the correct way to go about it is to just trickster dash out the way of her shit. Rather than royal guarding and losing half your health for no good reason. As you can see, this method is not as fast as the other method. And that's just because it's safer. Like, I'm just playing it safe. Like, I haven't lost... No, I dashed it. Ooh, that was close, actually. That could have been bad. Oh, nice. But yeah, you could jump cancel that move, like... Can you do it in this, actually? I wondered. If, she, if, I, get, if I get another stun, I'm going to try it. No, oh, that's the wrong weapon. Really? The first one... Alright, that's not supposed to happen. Normally, it um, doesn't auto-lock like that. Really? Fucking hell, bitch. Come on. Give me a chance. But yeah, normally it doesn't auto-lock on the first time. That was weird. I've never seen that happen before. Man, I said it in, missions, in Mission 2, but... Was it Mission 2? I think it was. The, I get the weirdest results when I fight against bosses in this game. But, like, this playthrough has just fucking proved it. Like, I don't think there's been a single boss fight yet where I've not said, Hey, that's weird. So I wonder if you can actually... Ah, oh, you can't jump cancel off that one? Nah, it doesn't have the hitbox for it. That sucks. <laughs> Still cool. Oh, I know what I should do. I should get um, some green orbs from around the arena. I'm not gonna. I think I'm fine. This is where I fucking die again. Right, can I... No, I didn't have the frames. Ooh, that was close. Nice, that does actually send her away. I have to remember that. Nice. That's the jump cancelling one about. Oh my god, look at that shit. I even got a block off. Oh, that was sick. 
I know there's some, like, people that are really experienced out there that are just gonna be like, Oh, that was nothing, you scrub, but I, that was cool to me. Right, it's a tiny bit more damage, and... Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Got her. <laughs> you know, I died the first time because having too much fun. But that was so much fun. <laughs> like fucking royal guarding the dashes like that. I didn't think you could do that. And had some nice jump cancelling there. Like that was really cool. I was actually really pleased with that. Like even despite the death, I'm pleased with my performance. Like I fucked up one guard and got punished for it. But that's just because it's Dante must die difficulty and she was devil triggered. But you can't blame a guy for dying because he had too much fun, you know? Like come on. That was a fucking... I'm happy with that. And I hope that was enjoyable to you as well. Anyway. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.